Hey guys, I got another little project that I'm fixing to do that's related to my solar power project, power system. I have an electric water heater. It's a 5,500 watt, 50 gallon water heater that I run off my solar power system. Actually, I'm running my entire house and property off my solar power system. But what I want to try to do, since it's just me and my wife at home now, my boys are all grown and have families of their own, is to only run that water heater during the day, particularly in the good solar window. So what I want to do is turn the hot water heater on around 10 in the morning, turn it off around 3, and... Let it heat the water up, and that should be more than enough for my wife and myself overnight. So what I'm going to do, there's different ways of doing that, I guess. You could put it, just, I could just put a timer on there. You know, you got the little intermatic timers. But I'm going to install this. I'm going to try this thing here. This has got a little uh, Wi-Fi smart switch and an energy meter built into it. It's rated for 120 or 90 to 250 volts. I'm going to be running 240 on it. And up to 60 amps. And I'll have something less than 30 amps on it. But uh, I'm going to bring my water heater power into the line side of this breaker. And from the load side of this breaker, I will feed into the line side of this smart switch. And then this will come out and feed my water heater. So I'll be able to program this um, switch to come on at certain times and go off at certain times. Or uh, it will also be connected to the internet uh, through an app. And I can actually turn it on and off from my... Uh, iPhone. So anyway, it's a little project I'm going to do to try to save uh, power consumption on my battery. I've been turning it off manually in the evenings, and sometimes I forget to turn it back on uh, in the morning. So hopefully this is going to eliminate that. At any rate, that's what I'm fixing to do. This is my 50-gallon 5,500 watt water heater. I bought this a couple years ago from Home Depot, Home Depot by special order, and they shipped it straight to me, which was nice. Except the the dimensions that they had on their website showed this thing being eight inches shorter than it actually was. So I really had a time getting this thing in here. I had wanted to put a mixing valve up in here and run this temperature up a little longer so I wouldn't have to heat water as often, but there's not enough room there now. But anyway, I'm going to mount this box either here and take that power cable, if it's long enough, to feed into this box and then come out of this box back to my hot water heater if it's not long enough i'll bring it over here and it should reach to that point i like to take this cord out i had a i used to have a my house wired for ethernet i had switches and a lot of other things in here and this was a cord i had used with a little shelf there to power my um uh, switches and stuff anyway i'm gonna take that out but this is uh this is my heater and this is what i'm fixing to work on well it looks like the cable's just gonna be a little bit too short i'd have had another <laughs> foot or so it would have worked out 
but that's gonna be stretched out. It's just not gonna work out. So I'm gonna have to bring it over here, which means now I've gotta move this thing. That light is kinda in the way, but not exactly in the way. I'm probably just not gonna fool with it. I don't know, I've gotta get in here to take that cable loose to get that receptacle out of the way. May just swing that receptacle around and put it over here somewhere. But at any rate, a little bit more work. Hey guys, I had started this little project here a few days ago to put my hot water heater on a smart switch that's also a power meter. And uh, I originally had this smart switch in there but i never could get it to pair with the app i couldn't get it connect to the wi-fi and i had thrown the box away so i bought another one and i'm going to stick this bad one in the box and send it back to amazon uh, but it's working now so and the reason i've done this project I mentioned before was so I could control when my hot water heater was on and when it was off and I prefer to turn it on during the day uh, when I have plenty of sunshine and let the PV uh, heat my water versus running it off the battery because on a good sunny day my PV array is capable of producing more power than I can consume inside my home, plus charge my battery. So if I can limit as much as possible uh, my hot wheat, hot, my water heater to run in only during those sunny times, then obviously that will reduce my power bill. Now I can't do that all the time because there are quite a few days, uh, especially this time of the year, when it's very cloudy here in Alabama. Actually, we went through a three-day spell, which we've had very little sunshine. But the temperatures have been particularly mild, so my power requirements weren't very high, except for when this hot water heater came on, or my wife ran the dryer, or she was running the oven. So, you know, we're still going to have to pay for some of it through uh, either swapping over to the grid or using out my battery. But if I can minimize it or maximize my use of solar, my PVs to charge this, that's what I'm trying to do. So that's what this is for. I've got it programmed to come on at uh, 8 a.m. and go off at 4 that's going to be, I think I got a program to come on at 9 a.m. and go off at 4. That's going to be the optimal uh, solar window in our area on a sunny day. So I think we'll be good there. And on those days where the sun's not shining, well, it'll still come on. Now I can do that because this is a 50-gallon hot water heater. And there's just me and my wife here. So, you know, I can leave it off for most of the day, as long as I have, I heat the water up at least once a day, get the tank hot, it will be more than sufficient for us for the whole day. So anyway, that's one of the things I'm doing. Oh, this, uh, I put this little plastic box here, uh, not a real high quality box but it's what i had on hand and this was a breaker i had left over from my uh, solar power project when i was using the grow watt inverters so i used repurposed that breaker for this and this is a tua wi-fi smart energy meter switch and i got that off amazon and it's working so 
I just got it going, so, but I've turned it on and off with the app. And I've got it set on a timer right now. It's not showing any power because I haven't run it, any power through it. Or the, or the hot water heater hasn't run through it yet. But uh, we'll see. All right, this is what it looks like uh, all closed up. As I mentioned, this, this was a little PVC box I had on hand. It's not real heavy duty, but it'll work in this case. And all I gotta do, I'm gonna come in and put a label on there uh, indicating what breaker panel and circuit number feeds this little box. My label maker is out at my solar power room. And it's late and I don't feel like going to get it. But anyway, that wraps this little project up. All right. Enjoy your evening.